Hey guys, and welcome back to the Evil Within 2. When we last left off, we did some exploring. We found ourselves a nice new weapon. An old friend, if you will. That actually apparently needs to be reloaded. Uh, and now, we're going to go off and explore the neighbourhood. If we can actually, you know, get out of here. Uh, I don't really want to go down there. I'm actually really enjoying this game, to be honest, guys. I know I should be uh, recording some South Park today. Um, but I'm just having so much fun with this game that I don't really care. <laughs> like, South Park's a fantastic game and I love it, but this game is just so much fun right now. Okay. Let's go down here. And I know, I know, we should, probably should be getting on with the main quests, but exploration is so good. I just want to find parts and upgrades and get some really good gear going. We need more gel. I'm just really curious to see what the hell is actually going on here. So we're going to explore one more building. And then we're going to make our way over. Ah, oh, we should have grabbed a cup of coffee as well. Never mind. Oh, wow, look at all these houses. What's up here? You know, one thing that I am kind of finding interesting about this game as well is the open world. Oh, hello. The open world is great. There's so much to explore, and everywhere looks interesting to explore as well. Well, he kind of got a little bit bored of us. Let's go see if we can stick him in the neck. Hey, buddy. I've got a little friend with me. Wants to have a little chat with your neck. I hope you don't mind. Of course you don't mind. Why would you? It's all fun and games until somebody gets hurt, right? Hopefully it's you that's going to be getting hurt, though. Not us. Why do I get the feeling that this is going to go badly wrong. I like the way actually you can see that our um, display on our back there is actually telling us how close we are to our, our objective I guess. It's actually pretty sweet. Hey friend. Nice to meet you. Time for you to sleep. Oh, that's so brutal. It's so good. It feels so good. Right. Now we need to save up like 5,000 gel. So where does this go? Now I have been told this is kind of like a... Um... Ooh, hello. That we do spend the majority of our time in this area, so you don't have to worry too much um, about missing things. Uh, in the first game, obviously, if you missed something, you were kind of boned. You had to go back and play that chapter, but <clears throat> apparently that's not the case with this game. Which I actually really like. I guess we can shoot that off. And get inside there, but we'll do that at a later date. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, an axe. Don't mind if I do. My axe is my buddy. Got a Z over there. Yeah, the performance for this game as well is really strange. It's kind of like it's, it's all over the place. Like it'd be okay for a while and then it'd just take a shit. Like now it's running fine. Well, if you can call sub 60 FPS fine. But it's running better. In the last video, it, it didn't run very well at all. Ooh, hello. What have you got for me there, buddy? You've got a bottle. Really? Well, I suppose I should thank you. Ah, okay, so we really can't search every house. Which I suppose makes sense, because otherwise we'd be searching houses all day. Ooh. Give me the powder, give me the powder, give me the powder. Can we search this one? 
No. There is herbage there. So I'm assuming it's only like the big houses? Question mark? That we can search? Red barrel. Ooh. Uh oh. Uh oh, spaghettios. Oh uh, well. I guess uh, nobody saw that coming. Sit down and be quiet, sir. Good thing we had the axe on us. Yeah, music, you can calm down now. It was literally just one one guy who decided to get up and have a little bit of a wander. Need to be quite careful as well about looking for looking for those statues. Yes. Bingo. I think that okay. Unless there's gonna be like a million enemies out here now. Um, what was that, Sebastian? Oh, I see. You've got mash the button. Of course we do. So we've got another. No, it doesn't. Let's go and investigate this. I wonder what that's going to be. That's not going to be that big chainsaw woman, is it? Because if it is that big chainsaw woman, um, we're going to have a bad time. Because I'm guessing we need some seriously high caliber firepower to deal with that. And we are close. Sounds like a clicker. Probably not super smart to smash our way through our cover. And probably make an ass ton of noise in the process. But hey, I never said Sebastian was smart. We've got some more gunpowder. Gunpowder is always good. So it looks like this is going to be where we need to go. Hey, bub. Do you mind if I, like, sneak up on you? Oh. I don't know what that is. I mean, I know what it is. It's an enemy. But they seem like... Those ones seem a little bit more interesting. Let's see if we can knife her. Haha, -ha, good night, bitch. Oh. Oh. Fuck. Damn. They're so they move so quickly. Damn you, bitch. Damn you. I thought she Whoa, look at the speed she moves. I thought she was uh, a special one. I mean, she's still kind of like a basic enemy, but there's a little bit more to her than the, the average crop. So they take um, two attacks to kill, I'm guessing. Investigate. Ooh, pouch upgraded. Oh, right. Okay. So these aren't um, these aren't upgrades. These are f yeah, because in the first game to upgrade your carrying capacity, you had to find them. Mm mm. You had to buy the upgrade. Sorry. Whereas in this, you find them. That's cool. Me lucky very much. So there's one of five to find. I mean, 26 rounds is still not anything to, to, you know, shout about, but it's certainly better than 20. That's an extra stock magazine. 
Now, is this where that woman was calling for help? Possibly. Because according to our Watson with Jugen Hagenbargen, we are close. Ooh. Someone's been shopping for bottles. Unless they have a recycling incentive here, which is possible, you know. You keep your bottles and you trade them in. Can't open that. Ooh. All right, love. Death by explosive diarrhea. Not a pleasant way to go, actually. Ooh. That is not standard. You're right there, lamp. You good? You're not gonna wig out on me now, are you? No. See, we just we definitely don't have the ammo to use the burst pistol. It's a nice token and a nice thought, but we definitely don't have the equipment to use it. Ooh. Can we open? No. What are we looking at here? I know there's a thing behind us. Come on, Sebastian. A file has been added. Tab and a vest. Oh. What's happening? Uh, I don't know. Woman's journal. The final entry of this diary penned in an unsteady hand. There's something in this house with me. I can't see it, but I sense its presence. I don't think I want to see it. You can hear those horrible things outside. They're everywhere. But I'm afraid to go out there. But I'm afraid to stay in here too. I'm shivering. But it's not from fear. Why did I get so cold all of a sudden? It's uh -oh. freezing. Um. Yeah, well, Sebastian, let's just leave. Or, you know, maybe not. What the? Uh. Oh. Hello. Whoa! Hang on! Is that her from the first game? What the fuck is happening? Oh shit! What was her name? Hello, bitch. Oh Christ! Um. It's coming for me. I gotta get out of here. Yeah, that's uh, what's the name's sister? What's his name, sister? The one that burnt to death, I think? Shit. How the frick do we get out of here? Oh, she just kind of like glides through doors. That's concerning. So we need a key card to get through there. Done. Fantastic. We have our weapons, but I have a feeling they're going to be completely useless here. Can't go that way. Damn, I never thought we'd be coming back to Beacon. So I suppose we have to go this way. Shit. Now, can we talk about this, please? There's got to be some way to get out of here. I'm sure there is, Sebastian. Uh oh, so I, so I guess it jibs out the closer we get to her, which is kind of handy to know. Oh, let's turn our light off because <coughs> waving our light around is kind of stupid. Ah, oh, look. Oh, there's a key card. This might get me out of here. Sealed hospital ward, uh, ward keycard. Alright. Now she has... Look, this is Sebastian's bed. I kind of want to have a little bit of an explore in here, but I have a feeling that she's going to come and uh, find us. 
And I don't think she's going to be too gentle when she does find us. Damn it, where's she gone? I think she's behind us. She does have a lovely singing voice, mind. So I can't really fault her on that. Ah, there she is. Hey, you crazy bitch. I'm trying to think of her name. I might be wrong. That might not be her. Stay away from the bottle. That is lovely, my dear. You've been practicing your singing long. Good girl, good girl. Go into the other room. There we go. Right, let's sneak. Damn it, Sab. I really didn't want you to kick that. Oh, shit. Oh. Was that it? Did I just imagine that? No. That was... What was that thing? Was that real or all in my mind? Well, what is real and what is all in your mind? It's kind of hard... Ooh, photographic slide. It's kind of hard to say, to be honest, buddy. Um, I suppose, to be fair, pretty much everything that happens here is all in your mind. But, given the context, uh, it's also very real. So, yeah. <clears throat> All right, well, let's keep exploring. We do have that slide to check out. Some more boxes to smash. I'm get. I'm taking it that loot doesn't regen. Um, but enemies. Oh, smoke more smoke powder. Nice. So, I'm, so I guess that was one of the side quests. Got another one up here. Fallen Mobius operative shotgun shells. Very nice. Ah, another safe house. Okay. You gonna lock me in here as well? Are you? You gonna fall for that one again? Oh, well, I'm just gonna help myself to all of your valuables. I hope you don't mind. Ooh. Oh, right. Okay. So we can do that. So I guess you can either shoot them off at a distance or you can um, knife them off. Ooh. Upside down bike. Maybe I'll print out um, a map or something. That tells me where all of the keys are. Because I don't really want to read a guide that's going to tell me everything. But I wouldn't mind to know where the keys are. Now I am proper disoriented now. Where the hell? Ooh. Let's not wake him up. Ooh. Damn it. I don't want to wake him up, but there's a herb next to him. There we go. Steal that herb away. Ooh. You hear crows. Resident Evil. Oh, shit. Well, that was unfortunate. Sit down. And shut your mouth. Okay, I think we're good. So, note to self, enemies can be hidden in boxes. Yeah, that's totally normal. Totally normal. 
we are not going to question that. We're going to accept that as 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 reality. Right, so now we know where we're back again. Okay, let's check this house if we can. I guess we can't. No. Nope. What about this house? Can we actually properly check it? Doesn't look like it. No, it looks like houses that you can't check. Not a fan of why these vehicles seem to be moving on their own. Shit. Shock absorbers, maybe? Or is there something more? Right. So many houses to loot. Trying to keep track of where I've been and where I haven't. Oh, look at this little git up here. Should we see if we can stab him in the back of the neck whilst he's not looking? Sounds like a dog with a... Ah, oh, what the frick? What the hell is this about? Uh... Oh, we're not going to have that woman following us throughout the game now, are we? Like, turning up at random points? And if so... How do we get away from her? Do we just have to wait it out? Ah, is that why the vehicles are moving? Like a warning? Alright love, I don't know what we've done to you in a past life. But I'm a little bit sorry, maybe. Oh yeah, there she is. Shit. So what do we do? I'm guessing we just wait it out. The way she moves is fucking cool. I'm guessing if she finds us, it's just game over. Damn it, don't come this way. Ah, oh, she's going to walk straight through the car, isn't she? No, maybe not. Oh, balls. Bollocks. She's seen us. Got a break line of sight, I guess. Okay. Alright, so I think... Think maybe that when that happens, you have to quote encounter her, get spotted by her, and then escape? Question mark. I hope that doesn't happen too frequently. Unless there's another part of that quest that we get to do later on, where you have to kill her, or maybe, maybe we can kill her, but we're just totally under-equipped for it right now. Hmm. How? Ooh. I thought this was locked. Yeah, I guess not. Hey, buddy. You just stay there and entertain yourself, my good man. You're totally not about to get horribly stabbed up. I mean, maybe you are. I don't know. I guess she did. And it was glorious. Or should we say, <laughs> glorious? Get it? Because, yeah, okay. I'm here all week, folks. 
Right, so... What was the point in coming up here? Ooh! Ha! Mysterious weapon replica! <gasps> that was Quake! That was Quake. You feel like you've seen this before, but you can't quite put your finger on it. Uh, when or where that was. But at any rate, it looks pretty cool, so you decide to keep it in your room. That was Quake, man! Mysterious weapon replica. Hmm. Alright. Nice. Look. Oh, yeah, because of um, Bethesda own Quake now, don't they? I know they've got Doom. But I didn't realise I had Quake as well. Or maybe I just forgot. Right, how many bottles do we have? Five. So five's top end. Okay. For now. Let's see if we can explore here. There's nothing around. Oh, we can't go in here. I would have thought for sure we could. Being a huge building and all. A huge interesting looking building, I should say. Unless we can get on top of it. Oh, there's a ladder. Usually ladders don't go to nowhere. Usually. Oh, well that's delicious. Now that is a trap. What I want to know is if that is going to hurt us. I'm going to assume it is. Oh, that door's locked. But I guess we have to go in there at some point. Okay. If we go around this side. Mm, no. Kind of get the feeling that we should be able to go around this side, but I guess we can't. <clears throat> Alright, well, fair enough. That's a shame. I don't know. Yeah, I don't really want to risk it and walk into that thing. Ah. Even though it did say that we can't trigger traps. I'm assuming that only applies to traps that we physically put down ourselves. Damn it, I really want to go in here. Oh well. I guess we're not getting those shotgun shells, but then I suppose it doesn't really matter. Now this building looks like we can go inside. I've also noticed that you can't hide anywhere. Remember in the first game, oh, someone's pissed the bed. Remember in the first game, um, you could literally hide in lockers and um, under beds and that kind of thing. Whereas this game, Um, it seems to be more of a generic kind of, not generic, that's the wrong word, uh, more of a straight up kind of uh, experience like Resident Evil 4 and 5, um, shooty stabby sort of affair, whereas there was a lot of hide and seek elements in the first game, and I don't really like hide and seek elements, 
for me. I think they have their place. But for me, they're just, I don't know, very boring. Or tedious, I think, would be, oh, hello. Yeah, tedious would be one way of saying it. Whereas this game, this is what I like. And as I've said, the whole um, open world nature of it is actually fantastic. Ooh, hello. Oh, so I'm guessing that our um, scanner magic will actually take us to um, files and things, which is really, really interesting. Detective Sergeant Costianialis. I hate his, like, that second name is so difficult to pronounce. <sighs> At least for me, anyway. But then you have to understand I'm retarded, so. Hmm. Um, following the events at Beacon Mental Hospital in October 2014, department police uh, department policy requires that you undergo a mandatory psycho psychological evaluation. Please report to the standards and training division to schedule your fitness for duty evaluation. Um, damn it. Why do they have to have page up and page down as a uh, Okay, we can drag and scroll as well as the um, the scrolling because page up and page down are my recording keys. Um, okay. Please report, blah, blah, blah. Right. Dwayne White. Police. Right, handwritten note. Sebastian, there's nothing to worry about. Just tick a few boxes, answer the questions. SOP. Okay. What the hell is this doing here? Well, I don't know. But uh, there we go. Especially as this is actually a sequel um, that I never thought would happen. That TV wasn't on before. File number 15. Interview with Detective ah. Sebastian. Detective, could you please tell me about that day at Beacon Mental Hospital? I've told you ten times already. Let's go through it one more time. Me. Yep. And now we're in some kind of ah, uh, we're in another one of these uh, alternate kind of realities. Oh, shit! Hello. Another file. Nice. File 15, uh, Psychiatric Assessment of Detective Sebastian Costianus. Whilst, uh, well cleared of any wrongdoings in the disappearance of Detective Oda and Junior Detective Kidman, Detective Costianus' statement about the Beacon Menton Hospital incident have been vague and evasive. Initially reluctant to speak to a mental health specialist, Detective Constantinus eventually opened up about what happened that day. It's my expert opinion that he is suffering from paranoid delusions. The recent death of his daughter combined with whatever happened at Beacon um, whatever happened at Beacon seems to have fractured his grip on reality. It is my recommend recommendation that Detective Constantinus bottom half of the paper is torn off. See, I don't know why there's different types of files in this game. See, this is one type of file um, where we have one set of controls. And then there's the other file that we just picked up that has totally different controls. I don't understand why they did They did that in the first game as well. I mean, it's, it doesn't matter. It's just, it's a really curious design choice. At the hospital? I just said it didn't. Jesus, can't you understand? 
I understand that you've been under considerable stress. That was the counseling they made me do after. Ooh, huh. Okay, well, I guess we can't go in there. And we can't open to whoever's knocking on the door. That one's locked. Oh, hello. Is this our house or something? It can't be, because we live in Crimson City. Or lived in, perhaps. It's more accurate. Oh, hell. It was just a fever dream. A figment of your imagination. Yeah, no. A dream. I was inside of a killer's mind. It was as real as you are. That may be. But what good is it to hang on to this version of reality? Perhaps if we disabuse you of this notion, things will go more smoothly for you. Was he just head shrinking me or did he know something I didn't? Hard to say. Very hard to say. Is that you cannot keep me here? Hmm. Ooh. Now we're back at Beacon. Or at least some twisted version of it. Well, to be fair, there <laughs> there are only twisted versions of Beacon. Oh, another slide. Sweet. We've already found three of these. And we're almost on 40 minutes again. But this game is too much fun. I don't want to stop playing. But I guess Beacon. we kind of have to. I can't be back. I guess we are back, buddy. Once more. Once more with feeling. So at least we know that Joe definitely died. Was his name Joe, the other detective? I think so. Ooh. Oh, hell. I remember her. Shit. What the hell is going on? Looks like your past is coming back to haunt you, brother. Never forget. Well. Were those just memories? They were memories, but we kind of got to relive them. What do you want? Sebastian, are you alright? Your vitals suddenly spiked. You're about to go into cardiac arrest. I saw a beacon. I was there again. How could that be? This is a completely new stem. I don't know. But I know what I saw. God, I hope it doesn't happen again. It's bad enough in here already. I don't want to have to relive the past over and over. Yeah. Place is trying to mess with me. Can't get distracted. Got This mysterious blood red liquid is used to open lock skill upgrade branches. I find Lily. Lovely. Okay, so I guess we're going to get those from side quests. Maybe the game's artificial way of blocking you from progressing too far too quick on the uh, skill tree. Which, you know, makes sense. So I'm assuming because there's unlimited enemies to a point, you, if you have the patience of a saint, you probably could grind over and over and over again. If you've got all the time in the world. Ooh. Is that a glitch? Right, we really need to find somewhere to save the game. 
Um, safe house. Bingo. Damn. This safe house crawls. Well, I guess it doesn't matter. Oh, that one's different. That one's glowing. Hey, buddy. Step! I am the knight. Something like that. I like the idea of hiding in these bushes. Seems to be quite a nice little tactic. Right, let's get to the safe house. Oh, hello. Nice. And when we've got some more time, we'll come back. Ah, oh, shit. Does that mean that woman's going to come back soon? Fuck you, buddy. Fuck you. Ah, God. We need to use a thingy. Uh, shock bolt. Ah, oh, that was really bad. Here we go. Take. Run. Ha ha ha! Sucks to be you, pal. How does that feel? Should have followed me, should you, you dick? Oh, looks like an another one's dead. Damn, that was some terrible shooting. Well, looks like another one has died. Can we, like, shut that door, please? Mm-hmm. Ah, I was hoping to find another... Another dude here. I guess not. Right, let's have some coffee. I'm not sure how these safe houses are actually safe. I wonder if they're, like, programmed that way. In the stealth, uh, stem system. Like little beacons of safety. So we've got a save spot. Or we've got the marrow operations. Ooh. Smoke bolt. This crossbow bolt releases a cloud of smoke centered around its impact point. Sometimes stealth is a better option than fighting. It's easier to escape or sneak kill when enemies can't see you. Upgrading your smoke bolts at a workbench can give you the ability to sneak kill enemies trapped inside. Oh, nice. Okay. That does sound pretty good. Recruitment and Moo Centers. The number of applicants received through the Moo Centers has surpassed that of the medical testing front. Registering at the Moo Centers is a tax... Uh, registering the Moo Centers as a tax-free religious institution has increased revenue, which we've used to render expansions to accommodate the influx of new recruits. <clears throat> Mr. Wallace used the neuro... Use of the neuro linguistics program in creates recruits that are far more mentally malleable and stable than the previous STEM candidates. The Moo Centers are also willingly, uh, oh, Moo Center recruits are also willing to voluntarily cut off fam family ties, which increases uh, eases pressure on the Mobius operatives working in law enforcement. No more pesky missing persons <laughs> reports to file. It is my recommendation that Moose Center's recruitment become the Mobius standard for all new citizens. It has been a resounding success. Oh. So that's how they're recruiting people. That's why all these people can sign up and go missing, and I guess it doesn't really matter. Interesting. Okay. 
Welcome to our city. Full of those, and there's another sender. Right, before we do anything else, guys, we're going to save it, because otherwise this video is going to be edging towards an hour long. So I hope you enjoyed it, guys. Thank you for watching. And as always, until next time.